Hi, I'm Kurt Fry. In this movie, I would like to show you how to create a custom format for an Excel table, specifically a custom Excel style that you can apply through the user interface. The workbook that I'm using is called Table Style, and you can download it using the link that I have provided in the video description below. In this workbook, I have a single sheet with a small table of data, and it's just orders broken down by company and then with a total. I don't want to focus on the data itself. Instead, I want to focus on creating an Excel table, which allows structured references and other things that I cover elsewhere in my videos. So with any cell within the data I want to use as a table selected, I can go to the Home tab of the ribbon, and then in the Styles group, click Format as Table, and apply an existing style. And the one at the top left, white table style light one, is the one that I use unless I have a reason not to. So I'll click that and create table. My table does have headers. They've been identified correctly. Click OK, and there we go. If you go to the table styles gallery on the table design contextual tab, which appears when you have any of the cells in the table selected, you can click and apply any of the existing styles. But in case none of those work for you, toward the bottom, you have something called new table style. And I'll click here to display the new table style dialog box. And here you can select individual table elements and apply a style to them. So let's do a couple. For example, I can do the header row. So I'll click that, and this will be what currently has the column header, so order number, company, and total. And then I'll click Format. And here I get a smaller or less complete version of the Format Cells dialog box. So I can change the font, change the style to bold. I can also change the color of the text. If I want to have a darker background color, then I could change from automatic to white. And currently in the preview, I don't see the text because it's white on white. So I'll go up to the fill tab and I'll select another color. Let's make it this one. So I have the sample there. Click OK. And there I have the preview. So I have sort of my brown with the text in white. And then I'll apply the same formatting to the total row. And this is what will appear at the bottom. So I'll click Total Row, click Format, and then this is the one I selected, I believe. So there's that color. Then I'll click Font, and I'll change the color from Automatic to White. Click OK. And there I have both of those formats applied. And when I click OK, the format isn't applied directly, but it does appear at the top of the Table Styles Gallery. And when I hover the mouse pointer over it, you'll see it as a preview. So I will click it to apply it, and now it has been applied to the table. And if I display the total row by going to the Table Design tab, which again appears when the table is active, select Total Row, then it has been applied, and the table style thumbnail here has been updated. If I want to edit the style that I created, I can right-click it and then click Modify. This opens the Modify Table Style box, but it is exactly the same as what we had before, except the changes that we made have already been applied. So to edit it, let's go to the second row stripe, and this will provide the banding like we had before. I'll click Format, and then I'll just do a lighter fill color. So I'll click Fill. And from the colors that are available, I'll do kind of a peach color. Click OK. Click OK again, and there is the formatting. This might not be a color scheme that you would choose, but I wanted to make it something that you would remember. So this is distinctive, if not correct. The real benefit of creating a custom Excel table style is to meet your company branding and 
presentation guidelines. So if you have specific colors that your company likes to use or fonts, then you can define this custom table style so that it meets exactly what you want for your presentations and workbooks. And also the skill that I just showed you works for pivot table styles. So you will be able to use these steps to create a pivot table style in exactly the same fashion. I hope this will be useful to you. And if it is, please like the video and subscribe to my channel.